And welcome folks, this is The Road Dog doing a special exclusive interview here with the band Paint who are going to be performing here tonight at Maxwell's. I promised these guys, I said, you know what, I opened my big mouth and I said, damn, I like your music. <laughs> That's it. At that point, that was it. They just stuck to me like glue. They just, you know, can you interview us, man? Come on, come on, you know, just, we just, we, we've got to, we've got to do it, man. You're just like, no, okay, fine, only because they like your music, and that's it. And then your album cover. I mean, everyone looks at this thing and goes, this is so cool. <laughs> you know, it's very professionally done itself, and and uh, you got you got a bit of the Marilyn in there and celebs, and we, we a bunch of us sat down one day, started going, okay, who's that? I actually did did that album cover um, on a film set. Right. I was an extra on a film called Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. On set for 18 hours and you're in the holding area for 16 of those. So my friend David showed me, taught me how to use Photoshop and I uh, just ran with it. So I spent the whole time on that set designing that cover. And um, our manager, Rachel, is actually the one who's standing right above Satan. So we like to say Are she's the know? angel on Satan's shoulder. Oh, that's shoulder. with the sexy blue yeah. jean black shirt going. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the concept behind that image, though, was just meant to play on that theme can you hear me? Um, which is sort of a song that's about, uh, it's actually a conversation between someone who has murdered someone uh, speaking to the parent of that person and finding reconciliation on that. And, uh, it's basically these fringe but very powerful voices that have existed throughout history and uh, have not been heard. So I kind of saw it as like the speaker's corner from hell, you know, of, of all of these people who have been so controversial but have, have said very profound things and have changed our our whole way of thinking. And, and what would happen if they were all hanging out together? That would be one hell of a party. Oh yeah. Literally. <laughs> Do you imagine <laughs> Karl Marx and Ian Curtis? And I would love that. Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> so tell me Karl Marx, <laughs> what is your truth? You really want to know what happened to communism, you know? <laughs> <laughs> There's Marks, just a tell couple. us about that baby you had. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> the one that Angles raised for you. <laughs> you had sounds like that, and that could be like Davy Jones of that time singing that sound. Where, where did you come up with this idea of Don't Blow Me Away? I challenge you on this one. Yeah. Where is the politics in the circus? Where's the politics come on. in the circus? Come on. You're talking is to it an the old... elephants? The elephants. Yeah. That's American. Well, not good. <laughs> no, no oh, it's... The, the circus is, the, is sort of the site for people who don't really fit into established norms, right? Okay. Or kids who don't Find want to grow their... up and are in a rock Let's go really in deep into this. Let's let's <laughs> analyze this. <laughs> Just for clarity for everyone, actually, there's myself and Mandy are here. We're in the band. The other two bandmates are on their way. But our manager, Rachel, and our uh, Hi, Rachel. guitar tech. Hey, guys, and, you uh, see someone really good looking for each <laughs> We just, we just have our new spins on stage in the middle of the set. <laughs> um, and our guitar tech and videographer and uh, road crew manager Tyler is is here as well. And Tyler did. He's done the video itself. He's, he's the uh, sort of the head roadie kind of guy. Yeah. He's the master blaster of uh, making sure that your show. The comes master through. blaster. The yeah. master blaster. He's he's the guy that makes the the magic. Uh, if it wasn't for him, you would not be able to perform the magic on stage. It's I, true. I always say that Tyler is the most valuable member of the band. Without mm -hmm. him, I don't think that the shows would go as smoothly as they do. Um, we play in a lot of different tunings and use a lot of different instruments with, you know, capos and, and there's just, our setup is very complicated. As simple as the music sounds, it's actually very complicated to achieve what we do and Tyler just makes it all possible. So. He's great. And he follows us around, uh, he videotapes everything that we do also. So we have the series on our YouTube channel called A Day in the Life. Oh, great. <laughs> could be. Well, that Rush documentary just came out, and so when our documentary is filming, is comes out, it'll need the footage from the beginning. So it's very important. Yep. <laughs> I really don't know the guitar tech. I do all the videos and everything. We have a, uh, well, on the paintsite.com or YouTube channel. Um, I do a series called Day in a Life of, which is all the behind the scenes stuff of paint. For instance, the first one, it's really neat, it shows how a song is created, which is hopefully going to be one of our singles coming up, um, end of the reel, and it's really neat. Um, I also shoot all the music videos, the last one I did was um, 
Don't Blow Me Away, and you can check that out at thepainsite.com. Yeah. It's one of the greatest videos ever. <laughs> um, so That's the right? Yeah, he's it's, not overselling it at all. <laughs> it takes called... place in a circus and it's a song about politics. It's got to be great. Yeah. yeah, it is great. And it may be called Don't Blow Me Away, but it's, it's going to blow you away once you watch it. <laughs> uh, Tell you what, job is PR yeah. as well. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a uh, newer video we're actually working on. Um, it's called A Gentle Art. I've had the storyboard done for a couple months now. Um, and on the 27th of June, coming up pretty soon, we're going to be shooting uh, the video. Um, we're shooting in a bar, we're shooting actually at Rob's place, we're shooting in an alleyway, and there's going to be a lot of smashing. The song's basically about yeah. ripping someone's heart out, doing a little dance on the heart, and river just, dance. yeah, doing a river dance on the heart, throwing the blender, and just smashing against the wall. So it's going to be great, smashing up some guitars, TVs, frames. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. And you know, throw some TVs out of motel rooms or hotel rooms. I would love to, actually. But well, we also that just do that for fun. Just for oh, fun. yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we, we've to never do done that. <laughs> no. You've not done that? Never. I, I, I can't tell you where, but yes, it is hysterical. <laughs> oh, yeah. and, 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 yeah. and if you've got some Jack Daniels in you when you do it, it's even funnier. <laughs> yeah. And then when the police come along and put the handcuffs on you, it's, it's, even funnier. it's just you wet yourself <laughs> laughing. You start yeah. all the way down to the paddy wagon. And all the way, and then for some reason, when everyone's gone, and it's just you in the back of that, you start crying. <laughs> it's yeah. not so funny anymore. Because, That's, that uh, sounds like a typical about it now. Saturday night for me two years ago. <laughs> I don't think there was TV smashing, but there was Jack Daniels and there was fights with blues officers. Good times. And tears. Good times. <laughs> I've, I've cleaned they up now, though. They paycheck that night, right? Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> good, good, good to hear. Good to hear. Well, so you guys are on the way of making a new album. We're in the midst of writing a lot of new material. That's what I want to hear. Yeah. I've always wanted to be a live band first and foremost. Right. So Very we're important. doing that. It's given us a kick in the butt to do that. Well, it's part, of the, it's part of the evolution of this business. You've got to do it on stage. Um, I mean, as I said to everyone before, and others have heard me say this on, on this, I mean, Bruce Springsteen was a, a, an overnight success. Ten years Ten it years, took yeah. it. Yeah. You know, uh, do you have blisters yeah. on your fingers? <laughs> Not really. For that song, I honestly, seriously just stand in front of my app and, and let it do the talking. Oh, Jimmy! Yeah. Jimmy, do it again! <laughs> someone yelled out Jimmy at us once. Remember that show with Say What? Oh, yeah. I finished that solo and someone in the audience, Jimmy! Oh, it just, it <laughs> just, it just, it just I don't know what it is with that. And maybe it's my generation. I, I, yeah. I hope to see more of that yeah. in today's sound mm -hmm. in the future of music. I'm always... I'm always looking for the future. What is the next wave of music yeah. itself? But when someone such as yourself did this this kind of feedback thing, and it reminds me of Jimmy and and uh, 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 Tom, uh, um, Peter Townsend yeah. when they did the feedbacks and so on uh, and their guitars, yeah. and it does something to me as as a, an artist, music lover. I don't know what's the, the caveman comes out and I must grab woman teeth on head and drag home, you know? I don't know. There's just, something very primal about it. Like it's, yes. I'm, I'm really big a big fan of Neil Young as well, his guitar playing. Oh, and hurricane. He, and he, he always said, he's like, I, I don't, I don't, I don't play notes, I just make noise. You know, that's, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Ow, ow, it's just ow, so much crunch. Ow, 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 and um, grunge. I kind of saw that, at least this particular solo, and I'm not sure, um, Mandy does some fabulous lead guitar work on stage as well and it's just it completely blows my mind but for me personally I, i've never been a big fan of flashy guitar playing but i've always been a fan of guitar playing that makes you feel something yes and you know for me that particular solo gentle art is really just channeling you know stepping outside myself and just letting the instrument and me sort of become say one. what it needs to say and become one Let i think the, the solo talk. has to tell part of the story or else it's useless it's uh, yeah self-indulgent yeah. yeah it just